What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Look at where we are on the dyno. I fixed the car, put everything back together. We got a different torque converter from Circle D. Little changes, new front cover, we're good to go. Flywheel with six bolts to match six bolts, so I can't screw that up again. Everything's all put back together, everything's good. Small little tweaks that we were making. Um, Kong had the blower, kind of did a little stuff with us, so we're putting her back on the dyno. We're gonna do a little bit back to back comparison and uh, see what a couple of different parts get us. Uh, so that's where we're at today. Right here, the red is uh, last time we were at the dyno. Blue was the first pull, green is second pull, and we're gonna keep going from there. So these horsepower numbers seem a little inflated even for Brandon's dyno. So we're gonna recalibrate the dyno real quick and try again and see what it says after we do a recalibration. Cause that's, I don't, I don't think so. It's cool, but I don't think so. Well, we recalibrated it, made a run, and it's still optimistic. So, the dyno is optimistic. Now it's time for some fun. We got our baselines done. Uh, we got all the tuning stuff done. Uh, the spacers underneath the blower, we've got all that figured out, and um, everything that uh, Greg Kong did to the blower, it's all been figured out and tuned out. So now we're gonna have a little bit of fun, and we're gonna throw on the party pulley. Uh, see what the party pulley tells us, because could be fun. So this com combination is going to be a 10.0 lower and a 2.30 upper. Should be picking up about a pound of boost from where we're at. Um, we've been run, uh, you know, mostly 16, 17, and then it'll jump to like 18, touch of 19 up there at the top. Um, but you know, we are, we're thinking we should be hitting 19 pretty easily, maybe hit 20. Um, so we're just going to see what kind of power gains we make from that. Eventually, we're going to run into restrictions. Uh, you know, exhaust can be restriction, this can be restriction, that. But we'll just we'll see what it does. So here we go, party pulling. It took four runs to get everything kind of dialed in with the 230 pulley. So instead of showing you run after run after run of the little gains that we made, here's the last run that we made for the day.
Full disclosure, you might notice things are different. Beard, t-shirt, it's not the same day. Uh, I have an iPhone now, and me working an iPhone from an Android, it's been a learning curve. So some of the videos I took say not the right encoding or whatever, because I don't know what I did. So the video between the dyno session and what you're about to see never got saved. So we took it off the dyno, put it back in the trailer, brought it home, put the muffler on it, got it inspected, put the muffler back off of it, got it ready, and we brought it to the track. So here's the track day. We're out here, Civil Wars at Rockingham. God, they've got some fast cars. Duck is here with the Radio vs. the World cars. We were watching them last night, and they are nuts. But uh, we're out here for Civil Wars. We're doing some private testing today. So we bought in a test session. Sharon's about to go make her first shakedown hit. Oh, fingers crossed everything goes well. Let's see what happens. Talk to me, Goose. How'd that feel? I don't know if it's just been forever or what, but that felt good. <laughs> so that was, <laughs> the nerves are gone. <laughs> that was a nice slow launch, 1500 RPM, right? Yeah, but we're at 139. Right, well, but it's the first time I've been in a 1360 foot in like a year. Yeah. And so, the circle D. The 603 eighth at 118, so we're with all the, with the power pulled out. Yeah, we've just, got like five degrees pulled out. And only launching at 1500 RPM, like... Ooh. Not, not a not bad start. Yeah, not the 580 that was next to you, but I, I don't know. We might be able to catch her. I mean, I'm good with it for, for a shakedown. Pass. Oh yeah, it was only two bags of ice too. We didn't even we didn't even, well, you only went eighth mile, so probably you only went eighth. So oh, hey, all right. Well, let, let me uh, take a look at the data. We'll send a log to Mark, and we'll uh, start playing around. Got the cobwebs dusted off. <laughs> you sure did. All right, well, we went looking at the log, and uh, so we're about five degrees of timing out from where we were on the dyno. Uh, she launched at 1,500 RPM, so way lower. It shifted about four to 500 RPM early, and still went a 6 at 118. So she's uh, looking to move. Uh, I think we're gonna go full ice town this time, and we're gonna try to see if we can go all the way to the quarter. It's a new PB. It's always a good way to do things. Wow. Still have four degrees out. And I didn't say, it's not like it shifted two, three perfect where we wanted to, but I think it might shift to three, four a little early. But man, that's a good feeling. Wow. She was moving. New PB. New PB, not by much, but it's a new PB. Yeah, but look at that mile an hour with that PB. A one, three, seven, 60 foot. Yep. 595 in the 8th at 118. Uh-huh. 924 at 150. Uh-huh. Picked up a 10th to the 8th. I think I launched right at 2. With 1 degree. 1 degree of timing, it picked up a 10th to the 8th. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. She look cool coming in? Slow. It looked slow. Yeah. Oh, wait, you talking about the shoot coming out? Yeah. Uh, I couldn't really see it all that well. Uh, yeah, I pulled it. I think I pulled it, like, probably a second. Hey, dude, we're getting back into the saddle. Yeah. New PB though, hell yeah, second run. Made a little adjustments to the tune, nothing major. And she's gonna try launching a little bit harder. We haven't been launching at the 3000 we used to launch at because the new converter, we don't know really what it's gonna do. Um, so we've been 15, 2000, now we're gonna try 2500 and just kind of see what, what changes it makes depending on how hard we launch it. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? I guess. New PB mile an hour, 152. New PB ET too. I didn't even see that. 
I'm like, oh, one three eight sixty foot. It went down a little bit. Okay, maybe. I'm like, oh, personal best eighth mile, five ninety two at one twenty. Yeah. I was moving. Yeah, you were moving. 120, almost 121 in the eight. Yeah, 120.94. That's close enough to say 121, I think. Let's see the log. Mark's already, Mark's already asking for it. At the bit. Oh yeah. That's not a bad look. So you can see I was putting the, the slips from the Rockingham Driveway app up on the screen. If you look at the bottom right, it tells you the density altitude, how dense the air is. You know, everybody's talking about DA. We started today at 400, climbed to 1400. So as the DA goes higher, we should be going slower. But we're just going faster every single pass, which is good. 60 foots, however, are staying very consistent. Doesn't matter what we do with the launch. 60 foots are staying consistent. So we got some work to do on that 60. If we can get the 60 to come down a little bit, you know, we're, it's, we're gonna be knocking on the door here. Woo! Another good one. Another good one. 60 foot staying around the same. Yeah, we're just not moving anywhere on the 60. The eighth mile, the 589, it keeps going down 121. Yeah, mile an hour is going up. Eighth mile is going down, 60 foot staying the same. Yeah. Uh, that was at 1400 DA. And 913 at 151.92, so. And 1400 DA, so. Uh, did you go over the scales? Yes, 44.35. Heavy girl, heavy girl. That's with the full tank of gas. All right, well, I mean, that's where, that's where we're racing, so. Yeah. She's yeah. heavy. Did you take a picture of it or something? No, I couldn't see it. I had to ask one of the people at the tech tech. Can you tell me how much it is? What it says. So, 44.35. 44.35. All right, well, let me see that laptop. Let's see what's going on here. Start getting it cooled down. We're going to try to see if we can make one more pass tonight. Yes. Oh, no. Man down. Man down. Well, I mean, it's been a year and a half, and how many times have we deployed this chute? It's, uh, these are a wear item, guys. So you expect them to get wore out, and you gotta replace them every once in a while, and we started with all four attached. Now we've only got one, so we're getting another one of those sent here. Cost of doing business, I guess. Well, backed that one right up, didn't we? Yeah, we're, we're going to have to work on that 60 foot a little bit, but uh, no, don't I mean, don't you even dare be upset about that. No, I'm not upset about it. I'm just curious of like, what we need to do at this point now to get that 60 foot down. Well, we're going you know, to actually do some nice pouring over the data this evening before tomorrow and figure out exactly what we need to do. And we're going to have another game plan, but hey, you knocked down PB, PB, PB. The day got hotter, the DA went up, and it still PB'd every single pass except for that last one, which that last one, I wasn't sure it was even gonna do it because now we're just, we're, tra we're trying different things. Right, I mean. I mean, you basically did the exact same run. Instead of 589, a 591. Instead of a 913, a 916. I mean, it just, it backed it right up. Yeah, no, I agree. So, good day. It's yeah. been a long good. time since you've had a PB. Yeah. So. At 913 at 152 ish at 4435, that's nothing to sniff at. No. It's a good job. Thank you. Take a look at this. Well, that's gonna do it for testing. So I guess uh see you when it comes to civil wars tomorrow. Good morning, civil wars. Start the day off. Let's fix the parachute we broke yesterday. And then we can go racing. Kevin over at White Safety coming in clutch. Three o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday, overnight a Saturday delivery to the track, a new pilot shoot to get us back up and going. Thank you, Kevin. So to get ready We're to move into our faster First of the day, heavy heavyweight. heavyweight cars. It's kind of stacked class. There's a couple more cars coming, I think.
like it. 135, 60 foot. Not, not, not terrible. It's the best one we've had in a long time. Uh, I think she needs some more tire pressure. I gotta look at that video, see if they squished a little bit too much, so we can get her tires up. And that means she's gonna go faster. But a 910, and I think it was like 1200 feet DA. I'm not sure. That's not bad. <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, reaction pack still needs to be worked on a little bit, but uh, a 13560 foot. Yeah, buddy. 586 8th at 121, 910 at 152. Alright, let me take a look at that laptop and we'll see what that thing looks like. But that was a good run. Hell yeah! That's the room. You know, it's 1338 DA when he went down the track. That's more than it was, or just about what it was yesterday. No, that's, that's more, more than it. That was what it was yesterday, last run when he didn't put the ice tank on. Right. And well, it, on in time. Right, no, it was on. Um, but yeah, so. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see what we do here. Okay. Ready to go. Qualifier round two. Ready to go? I am down. My pants are right. There you go. She's rolling out. I didn't even get a chance to look at it. So I basically just printed another ticket. Yeah, except for the fact that you're 600 DA higher. DA right now, 1,758 feet. Literally printed the same ticket. Yeah. That's crazy. No, yep. literally printing tickets. Dang. 910 at 1,800 feet DA. Dang. She is moving now. Um, on the starting line, did you chicken foot a little bit? It sounded like it went, uh, uh, or did it? Did the exhaust bang against the frame rail and set the knock sensor? I think it was like an exhaust pop. I don't think I chicken. I mean, yeah. Well, I'm gonna check the log and see, but I don't think I did. But I did feel like it sounded like an exhaust pop. Okay, let me see it. We'll see what happened there. But, I mean, it, the car is fine if it did 152 and a half going down through there. Oh, yeah. Sharon, in fact, did not chicken foot. That was a slight little lean pop um, just because we're launching the car lower than we ever have launched it really so we're in cells and we don't really touch all that often so got to touch that up a little bit not major it was only like a 0.86 normally the car likes to be 0.82 so it's not and it was there for just a quick second uh, however the reason she only did a 910 is we started dropping boost top of third and then top of fourth to drop boost so got to put a new belt on it we only had the Duralast belt from AutoZone that's been getting whooped on, and it's not made for this kind of ridiculousness. So we got a green belt. I'm gonna have my niece bring it down to us. We're gonna put it on. Thankfully, we're done for today. Uh, two qualifiers. Tomorrow, we're gonna go into eliminations, and that's that. So, see ya. Sharon versus our buddy Derek. Twin turbo, turbo 400 CTSV from Friends and Racing. There's your final. So first round of eliminations and final round of eliminations right there. Ready to go this morning? Ready to be. Yeah, one round? One round. Whether you win or lose, it's only one round anyway. I mean, you know. It's I'm Derek. In the finals, so. You're in the finals, hell yeah. Woo. It's Derek. Yeah, it's... It's friends, we're having fun. We're having fun. Got a lot of good data on the car. The car is doing extremely well. I'm happy either way. So, I mean, whatever happens, happens. Well, let's put it all together and make it happen. All right. All right so once again, still looking for my no time cars, no time cars. Bring it to the lanes now. See Ford. Oh! oh! Lane Joyce goes oh, to that no man. Bring it to the lane. Lane three. Left. Why not? on the tree decided to make a sandwich it wouldn't matter he got you anyway no, yeah i know I, i'm 
I'm not pissed that I lost. I'm pissed that I completely spaced the fact that it was, you know, elimination. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Well, like. I and then there was. A, did it miss a shift? Did you see the time slip? Should have gone faster. That's what I'm saying. It, it popped again. I heard it pop, and then I, I think I heard his two step or whatever, and then I'm like, is that me? Like, yeah, and then I'm like, like, oh, shit, the tree. Man. Yeah, it was it was not a good. It happens. We, we're not worried about it. Hell yeah. Let me look at that laptop, see if there's something that we missed that maybe we should, uh, you know, cool her down and maybe try for an exhibition run later. Uh, we are done. We're done. done. Sharon got second place in heavyweight. I have two. Still got $200 though. So. Looks like we're getting a little bit of weather moving in. We have some things to tweak out and fix on the trailer. Not the trailer. We have a few things to fix on the car. Uh, I think we figured out both the boost bike or drop and also the torque converter being a little wonky. Uh, I think we figured out both of those things out. So we're going to go check it all out. We're going to take the car home, get home before midnight, and uh, get back at it tomorrow. But for now, thanks for watching. See you all later.